Hello everyone, if you don't know who I am, well then you can call me Ari, and today I am once again talking about comics, bite-sized edition, and the comic I am talking about today is one that makes me so happy. It is The Lady and Her Butler, a fresh romance comic being written and illustrated by a creator who goes by the name of Jade, and is currently being published by Lin His Comics. Lin, Lin, Lin Zen, Lin Zen, it is so hard for me to say, I am so sorry. Let's just get into the video before I embarrass myself more. The story follows Soha, an independent woman who has a high standing position at the company that she works for and she despises romance. However, she understands why people seek out and want to get into relationships like coming home to a clean apartment and eating a hot meal, things that she can't maintain for herself. One night while she's home, a strange man with a key to her apartment walks in and she knocks him out with a frying pan. I'm not kidding. His name is Moon Tae So and he found Soha's new apartment out of a housing scam. Moon does his best to convince Soha to just let him stay for the night or until he gets back on his feet, even going as far as to offer his services as a housekeeper and claiming that he's gay. And while Soha believes the gay part and she doesn't have a problem with that, she still tells him to leave even if he is homeless and penniless. Because Moon is a strange man and she doesn't know him and she does feel bad for kicking him out. She does feel bad for hitting him in the head with a frying pan but she's just going to play it safe and wish him the best of luck. However the next morning while she leaves for work she finds him sleeping in front of her apartment door and she gets extremely worried because he slept in the cold with a huge gash on his forehead. So she brings Moon into her apartment and she lets him sleep on her bed and when she comes home from work that night she's expecting for him to be gone not for her apartment to be clean and for a hot meal to be waiting for her. And just by Moon simply repaying Soha's kindness, she is so impressed that she does let him become her housekeeper until he gets back on her feet. And thus the story begins. I'll be honest with you. I have been avoiding this comic ever since I first saw it because I have been craving a good down-to-earth romance that meets all of my criteria, that of characters being good people and for the relationship to be healthy and for them to actually have chemistry with each other. So when I saw the title, The Lady and Her Butler, I immediately thought this is not going to be that comic. And the only reason why I read it was because the first six episodes were free and I decided to give it a shot. And I am so sorry to the creator for doubting you because I fell in love with this comic. I am extremely impressed with this comic. In 13 episodes, it has been meeting and may possibly continue to meet what I require for me to fully enjoy a romance. The main characters are very good people, but they are not looking for a romantic relationship and they both share their own different views and opinions on romance. Both are also very independent people and are not looking for a relationship for their own different reasons. Soha is a woman who knows that she should work for her reward and she also has a very good reason on why she despises romance, why she doesn't believe that she needs anyone in her life and why she is so disgusted by romance and romantic relationships. Moon is a person who doesn't want handouts. He knows that he should work to earn his keep and he wants to get back on his feet by his own self. He can't return home to his family because of a promise that he made and he just doesn't want to disappoint anyone. And the reason why he is homeless, the way that he got here, honestly, I sympathize so much with him because what happened to him is fucking terrifying and it just it really hurts because when his backstory ends when he finishes telling his backstory it is where the story begins and what happened to moon was just terrifying and so many people so many people do not believe that it's a big deal what happened to him because he's a man when in reality this shit happens and this shit happens to everyone it is always it's always very scary and none of us wants it to happen to us. So just the, just saying that it's not as serious because of someone's gender, no, it is very serious and Moon shows us how serious it can be and it's, it really hurts. It really hurts just knowing that as soon as this guy thinks that he's getting better, that he is going to get back up on his feet, he just 
falls into despair because of this one action. This one action that spiraled out of control and just by the hands of the wrong person. These two people are far from the point of deciding, I like this person because they don't know each other. They just met and they didn't have love at first sight. It was far from it. Instead, they talk to each other. They have to open up to each other. They learn new things about each other in little and small ways. And there are times where they have to learn not to bother their feelings. There are moments where they go, hey, something is wrong. I know it's wrong. And either I did it or someone else did it but you don't have to hide it anymore. You don't have to bottle it up anymore because I am here. And you may not know me as well, but please talk to me because you have someone now. So please just tell me what's wrong. And I love that. I love that these people are not star-crossed lovers. I know that it's not love at first sight. I love that these two people have to come together and work out their differences and talk to each other and get to know each other. It is a solid realistic down-to-earth relationship with a few comedic moments and it's 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 a comic that honestly almost made me want to cry <laughs> once i realized that i was fully caught up and i had to wait another week for an episode because like i said this comic has been meeting all of my requirements for me to fully enjoy it so far and i think it's going to continue to do so so <laughs> i kind of love this comic i really do it's this is a very good comic. I really enjoy the art. I love the characters. I love the story. I love some of the character designs. Love, love, love. Let's put a love counter in this video. The romance is the sweetest part about this comic. And if anything that I said in this video interested you, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it to anyone who is looking for a very sweet uh, down to earth good realistic romance or just a good romance comic in general because this really you really should read this. So far the price for this comic does seem to be very generous as the comic goes on and there are new episodes the price for the older episodes decreased to being two coins one coins or just for free which I think is awesome and maybe it's a sign that this comic is going to be a little short or maybe it's going to be going on for a while. I don't know. I don't care. I love this comic. I need more in my life right now. As always, I will link the comic and the creator social in the description along with my own personal links like my Twitter at CallMeRNS where you can follow me and talk to me and all that other good stuff and blah blah blah. There's also my other links down there. And with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you did. There are more like this on the way along with others. And until next time, my name is Ari and have a good one.